Buffett says that if you hang out with people better than you, you will get better. If you hang out with people worse than you, you will get worse. So there's a gravitational pull either way. Now, it should be apparent that we should hang out with people better than us. But then the question is, how do we know someone is better than us? And one of the hacks that Charlie uses is that sometimes you're going to meet some people and it's going to be obvious that these are amazing, great people, high quality people. It's going to be very obvious. Bring them into the inner circle. I asked Warren at the lunch, I told, I told Warren, how come you are such a great judge of humans? He said, Monish, you are mistaken. I am not a great judge of humans. He said, if you put me in a cocktail party with 100 people, and I met all 100 of them for, let's say, two minutes, right? He said, I could probably tell you that three or four people were amazing, great people. I could probably also tell you that three or four people are people I want to have nothing to do with, right? And the other 92, I would not have any interest in. I, I would not know how to rank them or rate them. So the hack that Buffett uses and Munger uses they will not try to figure out the 92. That's too much work. They will just bring in the top three, four percent into their circle. And they will treat the bad people and the unknown people the same, which is take. So basically, now this is unfair. Someone could be really good, and now you've excluded them. But the thing is, because there are infinite number of humans on Earth, and therefore, mathematically, there are an infinite number of great people on Earth because 3% of infinity is still infinity. The fact that you exclude a lot of great people, there's no penalty to be paid. Just like if we buy a great company and exclude a great company, we don't pay a penalty. But if we include a bad company, we pay a penalty. So the hack is that you don't try to figure it out. You just go with the no-brainers. And so now that becomes really fast, right, in terms of sifting through humans and all that. So even when they're looking at companies and businesses and business leaders and all that, they just look for, are they in the three, 4% I obviously know are great. And so just this particular hack would give you a huge leg up because most humans will, you know, first of all, they won't even have this model of, you know, not interacting with people, not so good. I mean, that's the first hack you use is you want to only deal with great people. For example, when I started playing bridge with Charlie, I met his friends, okay? Every time I met a friend, friend of his, I said, wow, this guy is really amazing. What, what an extremely high quality human being. So I did a hack. I said, every friend of Charlie is a friend of mine. Okay, I don't need to figure it out. He's already figured it out. And so I built relationships with all these friends of Charlie. And they are, I just look at them and every time I think about the way they are and we are talking and such, the quality level is so high. And then, you know, when you just spend your time with these types of people all the time, life, life becomes so amazing. So that book, this particular nuance is just one little piece. There's a lot of other pieces in there. That's amazing. I guess you are a no-brainer for Charlie Munger, Monish. So you should feel very proud. I feel that one day, both these guys are going to figure out that I'm a fraud. They're gonna figure <laughs> out. They're gonna figure because I always think, you know, I'm just I'm just a kid from the suburbs of Mumbai. Okay. I said one day they're gonna figure out that once in a while they make an error in judgment. They made an error in judgment with me. And then that's gonna be the end of the lunches and the bridge games. Okay. Now it hasn't <laughs> happened so far. We're still in the game. Hopefully it continues, but I know one day they're gonna figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's 